Hi everyone, this is Deacon Ivan. We miss you guys so much at Religious Formation. Of course, we are praying for you. We pray that everything can go back to normal and soon we can be together in class. It is a difficult situation having our churches closed, but we have to remember that God is always with us. Everywhere we go, God is with you at home. God is right next to you. And more importantly, God is in you. God is in our hearts. And so that we can be aware of this presence of God so close to us, I want to propose an activity for you, and that is building our own altar. So what do we need to do? First, we have to find a spot. How do we pick a spot? It has to be a place that feels comfortable, where we can feel the presence of God close to us. Preferably, it's a quiet place, a place where we can pray. A place that reminds us of God's presence. I think I just found a spot for my altar. Okay, so we found a spot. What do we need now? We need a little table. It doesn't have to be too big. I found this table. Now we need a tablecloth. Where do we find a tablecloth? Well, you're going to have to ask your parents for this. It doesn't have to be anything too complicated. You just need some fabric. Preferably white, but if you don't have white, you, it can be any color. This is what I found. It's very nice. If you have any other colors, you can also use them. We can use the different liturgical colors. For example, we're in Lent, so we can use purple, or we can use red for this Holy Week, or Pentecost. We can use green for ordinary time, or we can use some sort of gold for Easter. Or if you don't have tablecloth of different colors, you can be creative and do a drawing or add some sort of decoration. You can use ribbons. Now we have our altar. What can we put on our altar? We should put things that remind us of God. A very important thing that we can put on our altar is a cross. The cross reminds us of Jesus who died for us and who gave us new life. A very important and powerful symbol. A very important way in which God speaks to us is through his word, the Bible. Mine is in Spanish. I also have one in English, but not with me right now. It is very important to keep reading God's word every day because God speaks to us through his word. So if you want to listen to God, to be close to him, we need to devote time to reading his word every day, even if it's for a few minutes. So let's find the Bible and put it on our altar. We can also put some other things that remind us of God's presence or of the saints so that we can imitate their lives because they loved God so much. Maybe some prayer that we like, for example, I have this prayer to St. Raphael. Here it is on the back. I also have this on how to pray the rosary. And here we have our mother Mary. So I will put these two on my altar. Another thing that we can put on our altar is a candle. But kids shouldn't be playing with fire. So if we don't have access to a candle, we could even draw our own candle, which reminds us of the light of God in our hearts and when he speaks to us in the scriptures. So let's do a candle real quick.
Here's a picture of my altar. It's a little simple, but be creative with yours. Take a picture of it and send it to ccdsaintrafiel at gmail.com and let us know how it went for you. Remember, God is always with us and he's waiting for us. He wants us to talk to him and he wants to speak to us. God bless you guys and see you soon.